my YouTube. I'm Jamie Woodford, and tonight we're going to be discussing a situation that's developed in my life for over the past few years, and it's something that I would like to express to others, and I just kind of want to know if this is happening to other families, or if somebody has an option to what I can even do, because I've studied law school for five years, and I'm just, I'm at a standstill from here. Okay, what we're going to be discussing is my children, which were placed into state custody uh, approximately eight months ago. I received six letters today. Now, in these letters, it's from the Commonwealth of Kentucky. 42nd Judici Judicial Circuit Court. This is Family Court Division. Okay, this is an adjudication hearing and it's set for a review hearing changed to March 15th of 2013. Well, I mean, people, you're just not going to believe the, some of the things that are being allowed in court or being allowed to take place I mean my rights have been trampled on okay I'm gonna try this we're gonna go back okay to when the children were removed okay when the children were removed me and the mother of the children went to court. I was found not guilty on every account. The mother pled guilty to neglect. Okay. <clears throat> so, my children had no right to be in Kentucky State custody after I was proven not guilty. Well, the lady that took my children, Kelly Covington, ran downstairs of the courthouse and filed what they call a petition. For some of you that don't know what a petition is, it's basically the reset button in the court system. Like, for instance, if you're playing a video game, if you hit reset, what's it going to do? It's going to start the whole game over. Okay. Well, when she filed this new petition based on pictures of an old house that we used to live in, which we no longer even live in. Okay. In which there was even witnesses, landlords came in, and five, six people lived there before us even, and... They couldn't prove anything that they were trying to say. However, the judge took this evidence into consideration and a brand new case was then opened. Okay, so my children were not granted to me. Even though I was proven not guilty, my children are still not coming back to me. And let me add, my children, they're only three, two, and one years old. The two-year-old child fought for his life when he was born. He was two pounds and a half ounce. He's a miracle baby. We stayed three months with him in Vanderbilt. Fought for his mother's life and his life. And came out successful. I don't understand some of the laws and some of the things that are taking place 
because uh, family court is so much different than a supreme court. It's like family court is more of a free for all, a royal rumble match, and a supreme court is a uh, one on one battle. Okay, now that you got that picture. <clears throat> so, we get into some pretty tense words Friday when I went to court. Because the mother of the children, I mean, she's she's lost faith of Kentucky's judicial system, period. I mean, why should she have faith in, in, in people that took away everything that we had? Literally everything, people. I'm talking about caused us to lose everything. I lost a six-year relationship with the love of my life and now I'm actually going to court and they fire my counsel that's what I'm even getting to this letter if I read this the miscellaneous orders that the judge gave me here the above case was before the court for an adjudication hearing on trailer 2 and a review hearing on trailer one on February 1st okay the father and mother's attorneys made an oral motion I never made a motion for my counsel to be fired why would I I fired the public defender to seek new counsel but yet now my new counsel get this people my new counsel is the lawyers I fired. Can you, I mean, can anyone even believe this? What has the court systems came to? I mean, for real. I mean, this next page is going to make anyone that sees this video is going to be sickened. Especially if you have children. Okay, the court having determined that Jamie Woodford is a needy person, as defined in KRS 31.110. Okay, the named child are required, or that the applicant is a party to a termination of parental rights. A termination to my parental rights? Are you kidding me? I will never sign a piece of paper to give my rights for my children? I don't think so. I'm applauded. It's very sick. When you have starving children and kids that don't even have a way to survive, but yet my children were doing just fine, and now they're removed based on environmental issues. And now I'm stuck with the public defenders that I fired. And my counsel has been fired. <laughs> now you see why I'm at a standstill? It's not right, people. So I've seen my children, and I told the judge this, approximately... 24 hours coming up on a year 24 hours and they're just babies three two and one years old that's these are years that can never be replaced I mean I have to keep record of videos of my children very bad when the state can remove your children and have the authority to keep your children and say that they're going to terminate your rights as a parent for no good reason I'm doing everything that I can to please these people I mean 
I have opened my arms and told them I will do anything it takes to get my children back. And it's like nothing that I do, no matter what I'm doing. They're not going to give me my kids. They stole my kids. I mean, my God, they separated them. This is a sad situation. I mean, if anybody views this and feels that they can help me, please leave a comment. Because I will answer it. I mean... No, I will let y'all know the conclusion of this. And if justice isn't served, I've just lost all respect for this state, for what it stands for. I no longer can trust any law-abiding figure in Kentucky. Um, I mean, it, it, to see a family destroyed, a six years of a family being together, and now it's destroyed as if it never existed, just amazes me. This is the first time that I'm opening myself to the world, and I'm exercising my constitutional rights, I'm aware of that. But nothing I have said is a lie. Nothing that I have said is out of context or, I mean, I'm just speaking the truth, people. <laughs> just tell me, what do you think? Man, what should I do?